Caribbean governments are being urged to ensure that the agreements signed at CARICOM meetings are carried out effectively. A deputy program manager of free movement and labor at the Caribbean Single Market and Economy, the CSME, Olivia Smith, who was recently in SVG, says if the agreements are not properly carried out, it hinders the development of the region. Smith also notes that funding agencies are cutting their sources to the Caribbean for the implementation of a series of projects, which she says seems to be stalled and delayed. If you're going to implement things, implement them. But you have a further, there are further ramifications. The European Union have given us millions and millions and millions of dollars on the, these cycles of projects to implement these things. The EU are saying, look, there's an implementation deficit. We all are not serious as a people about your business. We are pulling the plug soon. Can we afford at this critical stage to get the plug pulled? I know we like going cap and hand begging, but the begging will come to an end at some time and you have to be in a position that you can now catch fish for yourself and not let somebody catch fish and give you peace. Minister of Information and Technology Camilo Gonzalez is cautioning students here about what they post on social media. The young Gonzalez was at the time delivering the feature address at the launch of the St. Joseph's Convent Kingstown 2015 Young Leaders Program. Gonzalez says while students may think that what they share online is not being considered, such information is sometimes used as a means of accessing their personalities and characters by universities and even future employers. Sometimes when it's late at night and the lights are off and you're in the bedroom in your pajamas and you take off your tablet or your cell phone, you think you're having a private moment. It doesn't feel silent in your quiet room. But it's not. Everything you do and say online can be seen later by somebody. So when Sister Harris talks about character being what you do when no one's looking, it's very true. But know that on the internet, somebody is always looking. Dr. Shackle Hansen is sounding the need for persons here to live a healthier lifestyle. Dr. Henson, who was at the Lions Club South Health Fair recently, pointed out that there is a great, uh, a great need for persons to attend more functions that educate them about their health to avoid misinformation which can instill unnecessary worry and stress. The medical practitioner also emphasized the need for persons already living with the disease to know how to properly manage the illness. Um, that is what we need because persons who are there, they just, they, they really need to hear about it. They need to hear the facts and they also need avenues like this that will encourage them to um, follow the right path, know what to do, eat healthy, exercise, okay? And even if for whatever reason yet you still um, succumb to a particular condition, then it's not the end of the world that you can still go on. Life goes on, but you just have to know how to deal with it, how to manage your case so that you can prolong your life um, as best as possible. Of the Vincentian Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, the VSPCA today moved its mobile pet clinic to Kingstown, bringing its total number of free clinics for 2015 to three. Representative of the VSPCA, Trudy Arthur, told SVG TV News that today's clinic was as a result of a call from the St. Vincent and the Grenadines Port Authority to help reduce the current population of stray animals on the streets of the capital. However, Arthur says her team was only able to attend to approximately 20 animals, including cats and dogs, and describes today's clinic as one of the smallest they've had in recent times. Arthur says while there are a lot of strays in the city, they were unable to catch them, and dog owners were not very cooperative or even appreciative of the exercise. We have had about 20 space and neuters, but from this area maybe 10, 12, um, but none of the strays. We're just not able to catch the strays. We need help from the government to catch stray dogs. And it is uh, very significant that uh, 
on the windward side, like you have seen in Ovia, we had uh, 50, 60, uh, a total of 98 uh, animals over two days. And here in Kingston, where it's really, really bad, it's only 20 animals. That's a little bit disappointing. Is it that you think it's a lack of education? Persons do not understand the importance of spear neutering the dogs and the benefits that um, could be had? That is certainly part of it, yes. We have had to do a lot of persuasion work and convincing people and what it is about and people still coming up to us and saying what are you spraying on the dog well there is no miracle spray to on the dog you know and uh, it is spain and neutering tying off that's what we do arthur says they are hoping to host their next free clinic free, free pet clinic in vermont in two weeks and we asked everybody to listen to the uh, teleclassifieds and to the radio stations uh, where we announce it, but it's probably in two weeks in Vermont. Okay. The last time we spoke, you were seeking financial assistance, you know, to continue the clinics. How uh, that has been? We have had two major fundraising events. Meanwhile, the one is a Christmas fundraiser in uh, Villa at Beach Combers, which was a very, very great success and uh, last Saturday we had a fundraiser in Beckway which brought us some uh, money into our um, accounts and yes uh, we had an auction and a fantastic lunch curry lunch and Beckway is always a good place to have a fundraiser but we we had some generous people who um, assisted us with funds but not only need we financial assistance we need volunteers uh, and and um, you know it's only always the core group of four to six people we need helpers we need people who can uh, commit to be with us Today, the VSPCA has attended to over 800 animals since starting their free clinics three years ago.